Stars Crypto Lightsaber back again with another video and I want to point out two of my picks for today. Not sure if I should start doing that pick of the day, but I did do one of these as my pick of the day for yesterday. And um, if you would have bought that, um, you would have made some money on, on that one. And we will talk about that one afterwards, but we will start with 010. Okay, that's only 10. All right, and um, why am I buying 010 at the moment? So we can see we had the initial pump. Okay, we had a wave one. All right, began to come down. We got this crazy pump over here as well, and it has started to kind of come down, and now it's getting a little bit of a candle to the upside. All right, but what we see over here is it didn't put in a higher high um, at that moment. If we talk about the previous high, if, if we compare it to the previous high, all right, um, but it was a big candle and it at least leveled out okay but what we are starting to see is a little bit of a higher low all right guys as opposed to this low over here but a higher low over here and we're starting to get a little bit of volume coming in as well if we bring it down to the 15 minute you can see that that looks like it may be a breakout okay but um obviously we need to see a candle body close but um yeah i mean it is the, this is the 15 minute chart but um yeah i mean it'd be nice if we can see that follow through and there is the potential for that okay now why do I think that this could potentially be going up based on this pattern over here? Now, what I do is I like to look at other charts and I analyze the pattern history with those, all right? In my group, um, I compared Moon Day with the likes of Vox and um, I gave my reasons why I thought that Vox was gonna be going up after this move over here, okay? And um, what I compared it to is the fact that when Moon Day came up initially, it came down, okay, at another little pump then it started to go sideways, had another little pump went sideways, and then it went for a third wave to the upside. All right, so um, it's this little sideways bit that I was looking at. Okay, this action over here, it comes down, you get that little initial buy up, and then it begins to accumulate sideways. All right, and then it starts to head up and make its next move decisively to the upside. Okay, so because of that, that's why I thought when Vox was at this stage over here. I said, guys, right, this looks like it's getting ready to do um, another move up because in comparison, I mean, what, what you'll find is history um, doesn't repeat itself where it rhymes. And also you can obviously compare fractals on other charts and price action with other cryptocurrencies with similar tokenomics, all right? And you can kind of apply it to um, like a different project that you're looking at, all right? So with this, we saw it got that initial, so it came up, obviously it got a double top over here and it went down. After that move was finished, we got a little bit of volume, okay? When we got that little bit of volume, we began to accumulate sideways. Just like over here, we got a little bit of volume and began to accumulate sideways. Then we had that next move up, okay? So looking at that, I thought, okay, it's beginning to accumulate sideways, so maybe we'll get that next move up, just like we did on Moon Day, okay? So up, sideways, next move up. On Moon Day, we had up, sideways, next move up. And then it started to go sideways again, just a little bit, and then we got our next move up. So I anticipated that happening over here began to go sideways again where it took a little bit longer obviously like I said you know things don't always play out exactly the same but it can give you an idea of what to expect um, if you are right with that and you play it like that it does work sometimes it doesn't always work we went sideways and then we got that next leg up all right so that is just for example's sake so now I'm seeing with 010 what I'm seeing is it came up okay and it's been going sideways all right you could argue that this is a, a small little downtrend it's not actually sideways action but um we're not looking for um exact price action we're looking for similar price action so it went up okay now it's gone uh, to the left uh, to the right sorry and then hopefully now we can get another move up and maybe put in another higher high okay so then we will have a you know a high then a higher low then a higher high that could go sideways or it might decide to move down or then we compare that with the way this was moving all right and then perhaps we can get a third move to the upside and make a new high in 010 all right so uh rather than just posting a chart and saying to you i think this is going up i'm giving you the reasons why i think it might be going up all right and you know for the simple fact that we've got the volume coming in it's very low cap um, it's, uh, it's got a low supply and um, yeah, I think this and um, this can move pretty well. The liquidity has improved significantly, 35.3k according to Dex Tools at the time of recording. 
All right, guys, the volume at 5,440, that's not too great. But um, yeah, if the buyers come in, obviously that's going to go up. And, you know, we've seen how easy this price can move, guys. We've seen, it, you know, these, these candles are not small. You know, these are big jumps, you know, from around 8K all the way up to 20K, okay? 100% candle, right? Or more than that, okay? So, um, yeah, O10 is definitely one that I'm buying into at the moment and hoping that we can get a move to the upside, a sustained move to the upside as well, okay? So, moving on to my second pick of today, which is FWT, okay? We talked about freeway token or Orbit, A-U-B-I-T, okay? We talked about that in yesterday's or the day before's video, I can't remember, but um, you know, I explained why I thought that this was a great project that you shouldn't really sleep on, okay? It looks like it's gone up a lot, but really, if you compare some of the price action that we've seen in other cryptos, uh, 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 new cryptos that have launched recently, 400 odd percent is not massive. And that's only if you're comparing it to coins that have gone up to 3000 percent. OK, but it's still a large move, you know, and if you do go up that much, you know, I would expect, you know, you know, you would be smart. And kind of take some profit, you know, take some profit. You know, not everything's going to go up thousands of percent. All right, so the reason I bought this is we do have this classic triangle pattern and it looks like we are getting a breakout. Now, I brought it over here, okay, because we've got that breakout over there. It's since been a little bit indecisive. We've got this indecision candle right over here. Let's just enlarging that. Indecision candle right over here on the one hour chart, by the way. And now we are getting a breakout and hopefully that will be decisive. But there is still another 37 minutes before this candle closes. Okay, if we lower the time frame to the 15 minute chart, it looks like we have a decisive breakout on the lower time frames. If we go on the 30 minute chart, I will assume that we are at least about to get a candle body close outside of our triangle and hopefully we can get a momentum push to the upside. Really like this project, okay? They use the name Orbit and A-U-B-I-T because A-U is a symbol for gold and this is meant to um, um, represent the gold standard of this sort of thing. Okay, so I really like the project. Um, there's different things you can do. It's asset management. You can, um, you know, it can be integrated with the, the, the tra traditional stock markets. You can buy Tesla stocks or, or Apple stocks or whatever, something like that on that platform. Okay, so it definitely has a real world um, kind of um, application integration, uh, which is what I like about that. And, and things that actually, cryptocurrencies that can kind of merge themselves with the real world, I think they have real promise for the future, right? As opposed to ones that just want to eliminate, you know, um, uh, centralized finance completely, you know, um, something like this that integrates. I think that definitely um, is, is innovative and it's, it's, it's something that we need, okay? Because the traditional banking system, the traditional stock markets, they're not going anywhere, are they? Okay, how do we integrate? How do we, com how do we combine blockchain technology with, uh, you know, uh, real world use cases already happening right now how do we get the masses to accept it by using it to improve uh, the services that we are currently uh, using all right if that makes any sense okay so that is that all right um i was going to do a quick buy out update but there's not much to say okay um sound like a broken record on buy down all right it does look like it is curling okay for a little move to the upside but what does that mean i mean does it doesn't mean anything i mean this this could just fall back to the downside so there's not really much i can say to you about it um guys if you don't like buy down just sell your buy down and move on okay if you do like buy down keep hold your buy down and buy some more you know while, it, while the price is low but please 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 there's no need to be slandering people. You know, everyone's gonna have their opinions, that's fine, okay? But your opinions are better heard when you do it in a mature, uh, people-friendly manner, you know? People are more willing to listen when you uh, when you display some sort of, uh, you know, um, maturity, I guess. I mean, I don't really waste time reading comments of people that are just talking rubbish and foolishness, you know? And um, just saying horrible things, because at the end of the day, um, you can, be disappointed with something and kind of um you know convey that message in an intellectual way 
that uh, people will begin to appreciate and uh, will be able to dialogue with okay so that's just my opinion on that all right guys not to um, point the finger at anybody but you know there is there are quite a lot of hate comments on by not sure why those people are actually watching the videos in the first place to be honest but um that's about it for now if you're not subscribed to the channel make sure you subscribe like and comment down below you can also find me on twitter details are on the screen you can also join me on instagram okay follow me over there the, the followers are growing guys thanks very much you can also become a patreon and that gets you access to the telegram group and so that's about it for now i'll see you guys in the next video